Welcome to the DOE presentation. DOE stands for Design of Experiments. This presentation was brought to you by Brett Spradling, Jeff Engel, and Alex Lohman. Our experiment involved testing four airplanes with two separate factors to determine the maximum flight length with, <coughs> with a best optimal solution to our problem using the DOE process. The two factors included the length of the paper that the airplanes were folded out of, with the low being 9 inches and the high being 11 inches. The second factor was the weight of the airplanes, which we <coughs> modified using pennies. The low had no pennies added, while the high had a single penny added to the center of the airplane. Model of the process. Our experiment is shown in the red box below marked the process. Our experiment has inputs which are the weight of the airplane with the pennies and the length of the paper that the plane was made out of, while the output is the flight distance after thrown. During our experiment, we run into many variables, controlled and uncontrolled. Controlled variables are controlled to the best of our ability to minimize error in the experiment to have a very accurate flight distance, while the uncontrolled variables are out of our control and may affect our experiment in the way of error, which would affect the flight distance of the airplane. During our experiment, we ran into many variables that would affect the performance of our plane. We tried to minimize these effects by keeping as many things constant as we could. Some of these variables that we ran into were uh, air from the windows being open, also from the air conditioning, and yeah. We had some tasks that we assigned to each member of the group. Brett was the one throwing the planes from a constant height and at a constant power. Um, Jeff was the one making the planes and he was also doing the calculations for the uh, decimals of the distance. Alex, myself, I measured the flight length with tape and a ruler. Experimental error. Even while keeping all the variables as constant as possible, experimental error is still bound to happen. Experimental error is influenced by the temperature of the room, how the plane was released, and all the other errors made while performing the experiment. To combat this, we made 10 trials and then took the average of each trial for the average maximum flight length. Combinations. The way we came up with our combinations was using the design of an experiment square. The lower left corner represents the coordinates 0, 0. Using the coordinate plane, that would make the lower right hand 1, 0. The upper left would be 0, 1, while making the upper right 1 comma 1. All these coordinates represent to the length of the paper as the x and the weight of the plane as the y. Our planes. Here are our planes shown in the picture. The top row corresponds to 0 in length which is 9 inches long. The bottom row corresponds to 1 in length, which is 11 inches long. The left side corresponds to 0 in weight, which means there is no penny included in the design. While on the right side, that corresponds to 1 in weight, which means there was a penny included. These are the results of our experiment. Each column represents a separate airplane. The 0, 0 column 
was the 9-inch airplane with no penny. It had an average flight length of 14.1 feet. The 1,0 airplane was the 11-inch airplane with no penny. It had an average flight length of 16.58 feet, the longest of our flight lengths. The 0,1 airplane was the 9-inch airplane weighted down by a penny. It had a flight length of 13.26 feet. <clears throat> the 1,1 column was the 11-inch airplane weighted with a penny. It also had a flight length of 13.6 feet. <clears throat> the airplanes non-weighted by the pennies had longer average flight lengths with higher standard deviations. Results Analysis The following spreadsheet shows us the analysis of our results. Each row shows us a different plane, where A is corresponding to the level of length and B corresponds to the level of the weight. The average flight times and standard deviations are shown for each plane. Averaging all the average flight distances gives us a grand total of our flight distance of 14.4 feet. Below is the average flight distance for each level. The highest number of each column corresponds to the optimal combination. Our optimal combination gives us as 1, 0, whereas an 11 inch length paper and no penny on the plane. Results of the experiment. As what was just said, the optimal combination can be determined through factor level analysis. If you look at the average flight length for each of the levels, the higher of the two numbers can point out the optimal combination for your airplane. Using this, we got that our optimal level was 1, 0, which corresponds to a long length and less weight. Predicting results. To find the maximum flight length, we use the following equation. The maximum flight length equals the grand average plus the optimum length level average minus the grand average plus the optimum weight level average minus the grand average. <clears throat> Using this equation, we calculated a maximum flight length of 16.06 feet for the long airplane with no penny. Conclusion Our experiment yielded that the best combination was one zero plane. This plane had the longer length of 11 inches and there was no penny attached to it. We guessed beforehand that the penny would have negative effects on the flight length because the penny would weigh down the plane. Our guess was has been supported through this experiment because Planes that had the penny were far less in flight distance. The longer plane also proved better throughout the experiment than the shorter planes. Confidence in results. Though our results had some variance due to the factors that were uncontrollable, such as the release and the air due to the air conditioning and the windows being open, we still yielded one definite solution. While the flight average for three planes were very similar, we had one combination that performed two feet better on average than the rest. This combination was the one zero plane, which had a longer length and no weight added.
Here's our recommendations for further research. Thank you for watching our presentation. Please be sure to like the video down below.